I'm standing in a clear cut. A clear cut is a silvicultural system used to regenerate shade intolerant species like Douglas fir, species that need lots of light to regenerate. Uh, and if you look around, you notice there's a lot of downed wood on the ground, and this is called slash. This is wood that is not large enough to be marketable, and so it is left behind. It helps prevent erosion when it's left behind and provides a, a little bit of shelter to keep the soil a bit more moist. Um, I do see a little bit of regeneration here, so I can show you some of that. Here is a small Douglas fir seedling. So I don't actually know what the site history is here. I haven't, haven't asked, but I suspect uh, these were planted. So here's a, a small Douglas fir. If we look around, I see Here we are, here's a western red cedar. Notice the spacing, looks like the western red cedar is about two and a half meters from that Douglas fir. I see another Douglas fir here, so maybe two meters away from that Douglas fir. Here's another Douglas fir. So you can get an idea of what the objective is here for this stand. It looks like it's going to be a stand that has a fair amount of Douglas fir and some western red cedar. And we also see, just a moment ago I spotted, I think I lost it. Here we go. There's a little bit of natural regeneration in here too. I think that actually, yeah, I think that might be it. That looks like a western hemlock. Other vegetation we have here. We have some salal growing. Some salmonberry. Not sure what this one is offhand. You notice some some big stumps too. So actually, there's a a big log here and a big stump over here. And these aren't actually from this most recent harvest. These are. Stumps left over from when this area was harvested for the first time, so probably about a about hundred years ago or so. Uh, and notice there's some things growing out of this stump here. There's some, I think that's some red, I think these are mostly red huckleberry here. There's a small hemlock seedling here. Hemlock likes to grow in deadwood. Actually, there's a couple hemlocks that are growing in here. We have a number of bracken ferns here. Bracken ferns can tolerate recently disturbed sites like this harvest. Okay, I'm just going to walk for a minute so you can get an idea what the feel, what what this area looks like and feels like. And again, you don't notice it at first glance, but when you start walking around here, you see the regeneration that's been planted. Here's another Douglas fir. Another Douglas fir here. 